Welcome to Simple Planes. Today we are testing out this really, really strange vehicle right here called the Caproni CA60 Societa Aria Mediterranea, as it says right there. So, um, I am assuming this thing was designed to fly around the Med, which is interesting. It is probably Italian, which I think it is, uh, and it is uh, definitely unique. It has a bunch of engines on the front, so as you guys can see, there is one propeller there, one propeller there. We've then got another one in the center. If we go to the back of that one, we've actually got a big one in the middle. Then we've got another big one at the front of that one, and then in reverse, we've got the same on the back right here. We've also got three sets of three wings, which is absolutely insane. But anyway, let's go ahead and press 1, which is an auto start, I do believe, and then we can actually get this thing flying. Alright, so let's throw it up together and actually go on to the interior. Here it is. So there's a bunch of seats inside of there. This is the cockpit just underneath the front engines. And uh, we are actually moving. Nice. Okay, so we are sailing along in the ocean with all of these wings. <laughs> Look at it. There is so many wings on this thing. It's ridiculous. Uh, there are a bunch of other things that we can actually do. Oh, wait, we've actually taken off already. I guess there is quite a lot of lift on this thing. Anyway, there is an anchor. So if I press 2, it actually lowers an anchor, as you guys can see right there. Look at that little thing. Oh, that's quite cute. Anyway, we don't want the anchor to be dropped right now because we are flying. Uh, we've also got a cabin door, so let's go ahead and press 4 for cabin door. I've pressed 4. I'm not entirely sure where the cabin door is. Does anybody know where the door is? I don't know. I have literally no idea. <laughs> okay, well anyway, we are flying, so that is good. Our anchor is still coming all the way back up, which is awesome. And, um, yeah, it's totally working. Let's go ahead and fly in that direction. Alright, so 5 is a simple autopilot system. So, let's go ahead and press a bunch of buttons and see where we can actually end up on this thing. So, where are we now? Whoa, hang on, we are sat inside of an engine. <laughs> we are actually sat inside of an engine. So I'm assuming you can actually fly it from up here. I don't know whether there's another seat in that one. Let's go ahead and continue through these. Yes, there is a seat in the rear one as well. So I guess these are both to control both sets of engines. That is really, really, really strange, but I guess kind of cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and skip through. This is our first officer. This is actually the person flying. This is the captain, also a person that could be flying. This is a passenger seat on the actual inside of this thing. This is crazy. Look at the windows. That is madness. That is actually madness. So the floaties are right there. We've got floaties on that side. The entire thing floats, which is nice. And there you go. That is all the interior cameras actually done. I kind of want to control it from here. This is cool. I'm not going to lie. It is very bouncy. I'm not sure why it's bouncing so much, but it is. So um, that's a thing. Yeah, I don't know what's going on to make that happen, but sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue forwards. Uh, what I want to do with this thing is... I actually kind of want to try and land it on the aircraft carrier. I know that's not a good idea. It doesn't have wheels, but um, I want to do it. Also, I should mention, we are currently going, what, like 90... 98 miles an hour. We're not quite hitting 100. Um, which is, you know, I guess fine. <laughs> I guess that does make sense. Um, but I don't know, what was I expecting from this thing? 100 seems good, to be honest. Apparently our landing speed is, I don't know, 86, I think, which is 20% throttle. 20% throttle! Okay, right, well, let's leave it at 40, and then once we get over there, we'll change it down. Also, look at the anchor, it's just swinging around all over the place. Look at that! Whee! Alright guys, so I've turned on this sort of like your differential thingamabobby that allows our engines uh, to actually control yours. So I guess like the left one, like, um, what am I even trying to say? The left one goes slower while the right one goes faster, so we actually end up turning, which is quite nice. Um, but yeah, anyway, I also think we are actually sort of falling out the sky. So I'm going to go ahead and throttle up a little bit. There we go. And I'm actually going to go ahead and pitch up a little bit too. There we go. So, the aircraft carrier is here. Clearly, we are not supposed to land on an aircraft carrier. We have no wheels. We have no arresting hook. We do have an anchor. In fact, <laughs> we do have an anchor. I'm going to go ahead and lower that down. Just in case I can actually catch it and we can land in that in that respect. I don't think that's, a, like, in any way a good idea. But let's go ahead and try it anyway. So, we're continuing in. 
It's going to take us another 10 years to get there, but don't worry about that, that's fine. We do have trim, trim does actually work, but at the minute we've got the simple autopilot on. Um, but that's fine. Alright, we're going in. We got this. Alright, so I would actually really like to know how fast this is actually moving, but we have no idea. So, um, let's just go ahead and start descending down a little bit. Here we go. Uh, remember, throttle down to 20% to actually land this thing. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm assuming it will glide quite nicely down to that altitude. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright, move over to the left a little bit. We aren't trying to land on the actual landing runway, I'm just trying to land on the main thing. So I'm going to try and cut it back round to the right. Don't know what the anchor's going to do in this situation, because it's like under the ship. Alright, I've cut the throttle. We are down on the deck. And we have landed! Nice! Look at that! Also, I'm going to go ahead and press 4, and hope the cabin door actually opens. Oh, it's this thing at the back. That's what it is. Whee! Whee! Is there one on both sides? Nope, just one on one side. Interesting. But we did manage to land it. That is awesome. Nice. The real question is, though, can we actually take off? I know we've got no landing gear or anything like that, but can it actually move when it's on land? I have a feeling it won't actually be able to move itself at all. But I've got an idea. This isn't something that I've done in ages. Wind settings. Degrees. I don't know which direction we're actually facing right now. Okay, so let's go with 180 and do this. Hey, look at that! Oh, oh my god! Whoa, the wings all fall off! What? How do the wings fall off like that? What in the world? Okay, this thing can't deal with 200 mile an hour winds, because it will just explode. What in the world? That was amazing! You know, I was just thinking, what kind of altitude would this thing actually even fly at? I really don't know. I have no idea. But I'm assuming not that high, to be honest. I want to blow this thing up again, by the way. Just saying. So, oh, there you go. Alright, something exploded. I don't know what it was. I actually don't know what that was. Things are wiggling. Our engines have fallen off. <laughs> Look at it. It just falls apart. That is madness. That is actually madness. Oh, it just blew up even more. Hot diggity dog. Alright guys, we got another thing. This is a paraglider titan assault. What the hell? It runs! It actually runs! Okay, cool. So, uh... <laughs> Does it take off? Does this actually work? I don't know if this works. Alright, come on, we're going. We're gonna take off with this dinosaur paraglider thingamabobby. How does it... How does it work? Throttle to run. Okay, landing gear to lose weight and take off at 40. Alright, hang on. Hey! There we go! Nice! Okay, we're in the sky. Roll to steer. Pitch to pitch. And, uh, fire guns for weird stuff. What the balls? <laughs> a jet engine comes out of George! George has a jet engine! Oh no, it's stuck to him now. We're stuck in our own parachute. No! That's not what we wanted. Come on, George, get out of there. Hey, there we go. George is back to paragliding again. Why is this a creation? Why is this a thing? Nobody knows, but I suppose it works. So there you go. All right, well, um, George is flying. I don't know what to do in this situation. I feel like I should just like drop out the sky and die. Um, but let's go ahead and just press, like, a bunch of buttons and see if anything else interesting happens. Oh, eight actually makes that thing collapse. Let's do that. Bam. There we go. Does it fly once that thing is collapsed? Oh, no! George is upside down! But if we do this, we can save George! Kind of? Kind of? Not really. Oh, maybe. Maybe a little bit. Hey, would you look at that? George is still flying. All right, fix it. There we go, it's fixed, back to normal. Okay, I don't know how to land, George. So, um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this here. What a weird creation. Anyway, uh, thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you guys wanna check out the, the flying dinosaur, or the, uh, the, the other plane that we checked out today, la -da -da, then they will be, uh, in the comments down below. In the description down below. I can't actually speak right now, and I don't know why. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.